Welcome to this video on using the text function in Microsoft Excel to figure out what day of the week a date is. So I've got some information, you might recognize it from some of the other videos I have recorded on Microsoft Excel and the functions, so we keep it nice and consistent. And I have a blank column after order completed and I want to know what day of the week each order was completed on and all I've got at the moment is a date. Now obviously I can do this manually and go and look back in the calendar but I don't really want to do that, I want the system to do it for me and it's a super simple function. So just like any other function you'll remember from my previous videos you can use the formula tab on the ribbon, you can use the function bar or you can just start typing in and this one's a really simple one so you probably just want to type this in. Now remember all of them start with an equals and then you want to use the quick name to find the function you're looking for and I'm looking for text. So I'm going to start typing that in and then I'm going to select text. Now what I want to do is tell Excel what I want it to look at. So I want it to look at the order completed, put in a comma to separate the parts for my function and then I want to give it a format. Now you've got two main options here. You can either have the shorthand like MON for Monday, TUE for Tuesday, or you can have the full day. So if you want the full day, you're going to put three Ds in. If you want the shorthand, you're going to put, sorry, if you want the full day, you're going to put four Ds in. I get this right. It's simple to get it wrong. And if you want the short one, it's three Ds. So let me show you some examples so this makes sense. And anytime I'm putting text or anything like that into functions, I'm going to use speech marks. So I'm going to open up my speech marks. I'm going to show you the full one. So I need four Ds. Speech marks again because I always close my speech marks and then I need to close my brackets. And you can see there is come back with Thursday. So if I just click that one in the bottom right and drag it down, it's going to do that for all of the days. So four Ds is the full, but if I go back to the top one and I just go into the formula bar and I just take away one of those Ds, so I've only got three now, you'll see that it's actually given me the shorthand of the date, which is quite useful depending on which way you want it to be formatted. And again, if I drag that down, you'll see it's worked on that as well. So really quick video there, nice, useful little function. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know what videos you'd like me to record next.